Okay folks, um, task number five, if you were coming to us for a um, level one course, would be bridles. So I'm going to try and sketch a bridle for you so you know what it is. And we'll do a corner bridle. Alright, so there's one piece of wood coming up like that, one piece of wood coming in there like that, and it has, if you like, a tenon on it, and then it, this part has a fork on it. So if you're looking down on it, it's going to look like that, and then this bit is attached and going in there like that. So I've selected with my timber, I'm going to try and avoid all knots and I'm going to pop that in there. So first thing to do, face mark, so I'll get them the right way up. Face mark, so I'll get them the right way up. I'm going to just, um, just going to come down about five mil, and just come, going to come in about five mil, and use my square. And then I'm going to get my mortise chisel that I borrowed from work. I don't actually like it with that plastic handle, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to keep it. It will go back to work. Set your mortise gauge up. Better mortise gauges have got these um, nice brass bit that winds them in and out. And then I'll set the mortise gauge to suit my chisel. See that? All right. And then I'm going to set the gauge so that I'm in the centre of my timber always keeping the stock of the gauge against the face, always keep it against the face. All right. So I'm going to mark it for you. You remember to roll your gauge if you can, just roll it. All right. So again on the face of this one, keeping the stock of the gauge on the face and press firmly against the face edge, rolling. Right. So I'm just going to line those in so I can see them. And the idea of this is um, the marking gauge puts a V in the timber and we're going to split that V. All right. So this is the corner bridle. We do a T bridle as well and that basically means the timber goes in at a T. And then the third one is the mitered one but I think if we do a cornered one and then we'll do a mitered one. All right. um, we just need to decide, just need to decide as I've drawn it, we're keeping that in as a tenon. So we keep the left hand side one coming up the vertical, it's going to have a tenon on it. So that means we're going to take these bits off and we'll just mark them for coming off, all right? Alright, just mark them for coming off. Do them first if you want. So remember when cutting tenons you want to use the free cut method. So this is a, a modern hard point tenon saw. A bit cheap really, a bit cheap and cheerful. Um, it's what we use at work. And the free cut method basically is cut down that way, cut down that way, then cut down that way, and then cut your shoulders. All right. So I'm going to do that first. So 
the idea of the free cut method is that um, you've got a chance of keeping your tenon nice and straight. making it easy for myself so I'm cutting that way out. That's number two and then number three I'll do both sides and then I'll get you back in. 